What's up, what's up? And thank you for coming to check me out at my 9 to 5 when I'm not at East Central running the Love League. It's your boy, something like Superman. It's your boy, then I do it better than you can. It's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy. It's your boy, 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 it's your boy. So we're at CMTV, and this is where I get down with all my editing, camera work, and everything else that I do. So as you see behind me, I got some pretty nice equipment and stuff. I got this transit board just for color correction. Got a very nice uh, Mac Pro right there. Got two Dreamcast monitors. So I'm very blessed and very lucky to be working here. Great opportunity, a great start to work with a lot of people in the community and stuff. And I met some very cool people working in my community. And this is why it's possible for us to do the things that we do at right. the Love So, you know, one of the main reasons why we kind of started the Love League was to get ballers and everybody you know, into the community and having them something that they wanted to do and to, you know, bring their family and friends. So, you know, it's like the slogan says, turning locals into legend, family and friends into fans and giving ball players what they yeah, want. We're trying to find a way to, to get players out there, you know, to come have some fun with us and stuff. So, you know, when you walk into that gym, man, the music is playing, everybody's conversating, people are catching up with people they haven't seen in a long time and they want to go out there and show out. So we appreciate you when you come out. When I reflect on how it was when I was growing up playing ball, you know, we used to go on these things called a circuit. We go to every known balling spot to sit there and go play against the best ball players in the town. If they said they were the best players in town, we didn't really like to play against secluded players. You know, we were trying to go everywhere. We were always trying to be the king of everything. So if you're saying that they're playing at, at, uh, at one of the local parks downtown or somewhere, we was down there. If they was out there in Quarter Lane playing, we was out there. If they was at St. Isles or Chief Gary, we was there. Up on 29th, we was there. We wanted to play against all the best known ball players in the town. I mean, we would go out there to NIC when Winston Brooks was out there playing. We would go out there and catch up with him, man. We just wanted to play against the best ball players. So I kind of feel like nowadays that doesn't you know i'm not saying that guys don't play ball that serious but i don't think it has that same energy that it had when me and my guys were growing up and stuff i mean we would go to montana playing the anaconda tournaments and stuff we would go to all the native tournaments which i always thought were some of the best tournaments because they were probably like the most physical a lot of great athletes was coming out there and stuff so you know we always loved to go out there and play in those tournaments and i liked how they kind of ran it you know they gave a they would give the guy who you know had the mvp status of the day they give him like a penitent jacket and stuff you know they kept stats for him and it was a money tournament so you know i always liked that and i think it always kind of bring the best out of the best out of the people and stuff so you know i thought mm, what if we had the cameras i played know. college ball and it was cool and it was fun but to, uh, to be honest with you the the times I had the most fun was when I was playing in tournaments with my friends. You know, you didn't have no coaches subbing you in and out because you either took a bad shot or because he didn't think you should have took that shot. It was just you go out there with a group of your friends and you had one thing in common and you had a goal and that was to sit there and win this game at any cost necessary. So, you know, when we do that, it was fun, but we're always like, man. I wish there were cameras out here. Boy, don't you play me like a toy. I am blinding like a motherfucker up before you yawn. When you feel what I'm going, y'all. My first track, it was a bomb. It's your boy, cut the noise. Who is better? It's no choice. Mikey Mo. Right now, we just gonna keep it going, keep it running. Keep playing smart, man. We're gonna get this done. Shit, man, I'm just, just hooping. This is what I do, man. Oh, man, we're gonna make it, man. This is how we're gonna finish. Started out pretty rough. No, um, chemistry wasn't there. Uh, pretty much had to work our way until it grew to where we ended up putting ourselves in a position to win. At the end, we kind of, I guess, uh, me personally, I lost a lot of gas. Playing defense, uh, kind of started making boneheaded plays. Gather the troops, pretty much tell them we got to get in there and fight rough with these guys. They're way more athletic than us, they got more height. But one thing about our team, we pretty much, we, we, we fight hard, you know, we get in them. So I, I figured that, that was one of our advantages that we could, one of our, our strong points that we could take advantage of, and we did it. Now we want to try to keep this team together, I think. We got pretty good potential in this league. So right now, if you kind of look around, we're kind of like in this little closet and 
and everything else. Let me show you the future of CMTV in our new spot down here on 3rd and Brown. Oh boy. It's your boy. Something's something like Superman. It's your boy. Then I do it better than you can. It's your boy. 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 Born in Alameda, California. I guess you can kind of say that's across the street from Oakland. <laughs> so, this is a new studio space, and man, let me tell you how happy that I am to be ready to move into this space. So this right here will technically be our editing suite. So when we have all our IMAX and everything set up, they'll be set up along the side of here and everything else. And then, as you see, we're right here in the control room, so we'll have the TriCaster soundboard and everything else being worked on. And this out here will be the actual studio. So as you see, we got real space out there now. So that's something that we've always needed for CMTV to be where I think it needs to be or to get to and stuff. So if you look over there to the right hand corner, over there, that's where we'll put the site wall and everything else and stuff. And so we really want to make this like an event center too as well for production, open mic, maybe in, you know do some things after hours for people to come in here to rent out the space because we're really trying to make sure this is super nice and stuff. So we're pretty blessed to be able to get this space from uh, Dan Spaulding, man. And if you know Dan Spaulding, he does good work and stuff. He's always, he's, a, he's an artist himself when it comes to his buildings and using material and everything else. So, so this right here will actually be my office. So I have all of this. So I'll, I'll make it kind of fairly dark, especially when we go to do color correction. That's what we need to have. So my walls will be 18% gray. That just kind of helps out with, the, you know, my eyes and everything else because it's all about the environment when you're in there color correcting and stuff. So if you got orange walls, then that means that your picture may have an orange tint. So then what we'll do is these, I'll have this wall right here that will open up and then I'll be able to walk out here like this to see what's going on. Probably have some type of uh, chairs or a couch or something out here so you can come and check our space out and everything. The funny thing is I'm actually standing on top of our uh, soundproof uh, room right now and stuff so we'll go down there and check that out all right man so i i gotta be honest you know i really love where the studio and everything is going to be but i think i'm gonna fall more in love with this because this is where american ninja is going to be american set up ninja warrior so he's he actually helps train some of the guys that actually go on to that show and stuff so there's what this whole front area is going to be so you know the little wall where they go run up in and stuff they'll start it right here and they'll go out to the sidewalk so they'll lift this door up that uh, you know your boy's gonna be in here <laughs> getting his workout on and stuff out there trying to be on American Ninja Warriors. Push your boy, better get known as your man for me. If they can do it, best believe I can. Done did it, dada, for notch much. How to chief supreme, dude. Oh, yeah, I think Sonata, I'm a shotter. Wankster, prankster, is your steez. Please, I do this daily blind, can't see me. No mommy want to be with me. I know her so. Go holler at my number once she put you on the stroll. No, uh, it's a ball game. You know, we had a we had good stretches knocking down some shots, but that nice little run around. We got a 10 point ball game going to the second half, so it'll be good. Up 10 out half and we just gotta hit some shots play some D we'll be all right yes sir I take control of my avenue peninsula best belief if boy I handle ya just a fun scandal plus I throw it back I've been on attack been here since day one now no yeah oh man so we talk about the ballaholics right here they have one two three four five six guys that played college ball they got four that I see out here that played overseas I mean, they're legit, and they're missing a couple, looks like. But of the six that are here, they're all top-tier Spokane ball players. So, ES Elite, and then they got, they're kind of the underground team, you know? They got a bunch of guys who kind of came through the rough patches and, and uh, made it happen maybe after high school or later on in life, and now they're dominating. They run all over town dominating every league they're in. So, until someone beats them, that's the team to beat. No question about it. Man, so like I said, this whole building is going to be popping, man. It's going to be 
man, it's gonna be action packed. I will say that and stuff, man. So I'm, I'm very blessed to be in this situation and the location, perfect. Just right off the freeway before you get onto the freeway and stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, once again, man, you know, thank you so much for coming to check me out on my 9 to 5, what I do to hoop to survive and everything else, man. You know, once again, everyone that plays in the Love League and that participates, man, me and Mike, we really do appreciate it because it is a dream to come true. You know, growing up playing basketball and doing camera work, two things I love doing. Now I got them coming together. Man, it's a beautiful relationship, man. So um, once again, me and Mike, we both say every day that we're blessed to be able to have people come to the gym come up and talk to us, play in our league, and we're going to keep getting better and mo' better and mo' mo' better and stuff. So, thank you so much.